UFC fan as if maybe your team is competing in the Super Bowl. We share those sentiments here in the booth as we get up on this fourth meeting between Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor. Their careers are intertwined. Dustin has had the last laugh, at least of late. It's been a lot of bad blood between these two. It's been a lot of trash talk. These guys don't like each other. And Dustin Poirier winning the last couple of fights just really grinds at Conor McGregor. It eats at him because of the way in which he disposed of him the first time. Conor still believes that if he can get his hands on Dustin Poirier, he is going to finish him. Let's see what happens when the octagon door closes and the official says, let's fight. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. All right, so he catches the kick there and beautifully counters with the takedown. So a nice job turning that defense into some immediate offense there. He did a great job of turning his defense into his offense, but you can see that he's done that time and time again. He drilled that exact action, and it worked in this instance. A trademark inside leg kick there by Poirier. Oh, he blocked that one. only be one king of Lafayette, Louisiana, and with respect to present company, Poirier's that guy. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Just over two minutes to go. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Straight punch. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment. Two strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Shot to the body, turned back by McGregor. All right, well, good news is oh, these guys are absolutely getting after it. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, my goodness. Lead left by Connor. 20 seconds left. There's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. All right, DC, round two is upon us. Great Dustin fight. Poirier Great. against that man. You might recognize him. He is Conor McGregor. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the UFC top. Eats a jab there. Beautiful land there by McGregor. Made it look easy on that exchange. He is such a diverse striker, but he's very tricky in the approach when he's trying to land that left hand. McGregor's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Oh, beautiful reaction by him there, DC. Caught the kick and immediately countered with a perfectly timed takedown. I mean, John, when you can have a reactionary takedown, it's usually oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Oh, man, he's a hard. Oh, what a shot to the inside. He's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was. All right, so there's the swing. 
to miss from him, and sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even more than when you land a strike. So clearly, it is energy preservation time at this point of the fight. Poirier's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. I mean, the guy is so hard. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit me up. Gets back to his feet. This is a crazy high pace. Two minutes now to go round two. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. And that one certainly found the target. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. There it is again. Ten minutes in the can. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed Great this fight. punch right here Great. that sits his opponent down, Great. it shows that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Try to establish that jab. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now and an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Back to that offering, DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, nice ball shot. All right, so the uppercuts have been a big part of the storyline in this one, but the setups have really been key for him. Blocking well now, you see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Slips the shot. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter and see what type of effect it's starting to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reaction. Yeah. Well, McGregor's now dealing with a cheap cut. Really anybody's fight here over the final five minutes. Oh, great block there. Cut the kick. Well, just like he drew it up with us on Thursday, catches the kick, counters beautifully with the takedown. He did a great job countering with that nice takedown. Great fight IQ, seeing that kick coming and turning it into his offense. That was a solid punch. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut land. Well, he's landed a few big uppercuts already. I will bet you $1,000 he sets it up again here. You're not taking my money, J.A. That uppercut is coming. And when it lands, it's going to land and land very damaging. 
Gregor's eye starting to swell now. You gotta start to look to finish him now. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.